Struggling against man blitzers? Use these simple concepts to go ahead and beat them down the field and get easy touchdowns and first downs. Coming up next. This is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you do my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. Recently, I had a comment that was sent to me from one of my subscribers, and he basically said, are there any particular plays or concepts that you can use against anybody that's a lot of heavy man blitzing? Um, and I, I typically don't run into a lot of people do a lot of heavy man blitzing with me, but um, it, it can be it can be very annoying. It actually can actually force you uh, to do a turnover on downs or, or get yourself in a, in a fourth and long type of situation. So heavy man blitzing, if it's sprinkled into your defensive scheme, can be very effective if it's sprinkled in. But if you run into somebody that spams, heavy man blitzing, you can actually attack them from one play touchdowns and get opportunities to go and beat them for some big big opportunities. So what we're going to take a look at is going to be looking at concepts and in the medium passes you're going to find a concept that you can pretty much find in every single playbook which is going to be double moves. Double moves is going to have concepts that are going to go ahead and beat anybody that runs a lot of heavy, uh, like, like a lot of heavy man blitzing. In particular Sluggo. So if you can see Sluggo seam, uh, the Sluggo route is consistent with the following route off to the right where the guy breaks in on a slant and then comes up on an angle. That is going to be a route that's going to beat most heavy man blitzing. So you can see the slant goes, you get double sluggos on both sides. That's a very good play to go and jump into. Um, you've got a comeback and go, which is the play action boots shot. Um, and sluggo seam. So we're going to go ahead and use sluggo. We're going to use a sluggo uh, seam off the left because it's going to provide us a couple different concepts that we can take a look at. So sluggo seam out of the gun Y trio offset week. And once again, I'm going to be using random man blitzes, so I really don't know what the CPU is going to come out of. So uh, one of the key things, too, is that if you got a guy that is blitzing six or seven people, probably six people, block six or seven. Make sure you match up your blocking. So you can always, if he's doing a lot of heavy man blitzing, you can get away with, with this. Now, uh, you're really going to kind of determine who we're going to go to, whether it's press or if it's going to be uh, basically a uh, off coverage. Now, a, a nice hitch route, like Gabriel's off to the right-hand side, if it's off coverage, will get easy separation. It's going to be a fast read. So all you have to do is just go ahead and pop the ball as soon as the icon comes up. He's generally going to get uh, good separation against the defender. So once again, that's going to be easy off coverage. Just pop it. Uh, that's going to be easy completion. So um, the other play is going to be on the back end side, which is going to be Robinson. We'll see if the actual other defender comes up. And so right here, I want to show you how Sluggo always gets separation against the, the best defenders. Now, I do want you to, to, to remember that uh, I'm actually going against Madden Elite uh, with Bears wide receivers. So Bears wide receivers are really not bad, uh, but they're also going against the best defenders in the game. So watch this route. Basically what he does is he cuts out and then he cuts back in. And what happens with the defender, the defender just sticks on his feet. And 90% of the time, you know, there's always the 1% where he actually carries with the wide receiver, but the, you're going to get 9 out of 10 opportunities where he's, this wide receiver is always going to have a step. And all you have to do is just lob the ball up and just rack, rack animation, and you're going to get a big completion and potentially a touchdown if you, if you break a tackle at the very end. Once again, we're going to block all. We're going to watch that sluggle route off the left and see how he gets actually past the defender. It's just a very easy completion against, against him. Now, another concept that I like to use uh, is smash um, out of the double move section. And it's just basically it's just giving me a corner route that I can attack my opponent. Uh, so if I got a guy that runs a lot of, um, uh, basically, uh, he's doing a lot of blitzing against me, I'll, I'll run smash. And all I really want to do is just look for a smash concept, and I'll do high-low. This is actually really good to use against anybody that runs uh, a lot of um, man blitzes or they basically go ahead and use a lot of cover, too. You can, you can use this concept to go ahead and get them. But smash, uh, uh, what I want to do is I want to highlight the, the corner route, and that's going to be the area that I'm going to attack my opponent with. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and take the wide receiver that's in a, in a little hitch route because he actually comes up a little bit deeper. It makes me it makes my read a little bit harder to find out whether it's man coverage or I'm going to be able to hit that deep corner route. So I put up a smoke route, and that, that my first read is going to be that corner that's over the smoke route. He's going to tell me whether I'm going to have a high low. Now let's go ahead and see if I'm going to get myself an extra blocker here just to try to give myself some more time. Snap the ball, 
and see if the corner route gets open. It does, and it gives you an opportunity to go ahead and get an easy completion with smash and a smoke. So conceptually, what I like to do is I like to smoke the route this guy because then it's going to give me a tell whether this guy's playing in a cloud flat and I have to worry about it, whether he's going to fall into this deep corner route. And if it's mad coverage, he's going to come down and play the smoke route, leaving this corner route wide open for an easy completion where I just pass lead it to the outside and just try to get in the rack or an ag kick, uh, aggressive catch uh, to the sideline. Mesh is another good concept to go ahead and use against your opponent if he's using a lot of heavy man blitzes. And you need to basically keep, um, basically keep your guys in those mesh routes because then he has to kind of pick his poison. So let's go ahead and jump into a mesh route that is going to give us a little time and he gets some uh, coverage we're going for. So let's just go into man blitzes. Another concept that you can use to sprinkle in uh, against a guy that runs a lot of um, heavy man blitzes mesh. And uh, basically you want to try to keep uh, the, the mesh concept going for you. You want to use the two um, uh, drag plays uh, in this particular concept. You probably need to block six if you have a running back in the backfield that's going to help. You want to try to provide yourself additional time, so you want to go and block your running back. And all you're going to do is just look for, for the guy that actually gets a separation of the mesh concept and is away from your, your computer's, uh, your, your opponent's user. So he can't, he can't basically block, he can't manually defend both guys. So that's going to allow you to go and attack your opponent underneath. So this is a good play to go and jump into. If he's using a lot of heavy man blitzes, especially like in a third and short situation or a second and short situation, because it's going to make him very difficult uh, for him to go and stop uh, these, this yardage uh, to do that. And you can actually go ahead and get a nice little rack, um, rack catch animation and, um, and turn it up for some additional yards right there. So I'm able to go and pick up, you know, a good uh, seven yards right there, probably a little bit more if I would have broke a tackle. So. It's definitely a good play to go and have into your scheme if you if you have a guy that runs a lot of man man blitzes. Now you could do crossers um, and basically have two different plays that uh, that cross against each other, so slants going opposite directions. Uh, the problem with these trigger plays is that they do take a little bit longer time uh, to uh, basically get open so you can get yourself in some trouble. So right here I'm going to show you a good example on, on how I might not have, have enough time for these routes to get open based on uh, the additional blitzers. Uh, so you can see that's where I actually probably won't be able to get that ball off and be able to cross it. So. Uh, when, if you do run into a lot of heavy man blitzes, I would recommend going to the sluggo. That's going to get someone that's going to immediately get him out of that play. So if you can get a one-play touchdown or get a 30-yard play or get a 40-yard play or get just get a change of position, that's going to be definitely something you want to do. Uh, spot routes typically always come with some type of a deep corner route that you can attack. Uh, another play that I recently highlighted is the, the Z spot and go. Now, the, the problem with this particular play is that it does... Um, basically highlight the middle of the field so if we go and block these guys watch the spot and go watch what happens he actually gets pretty crazy separation and it's going to be give you an opportunity to get a nice big play especially if it's users not in the area so these are just a couple concepts guys you can take a look at um, I, I typically don't run into a lot of man blitzers that really cause me a problems unless they sprinkle it into their scheme um, you, typically what's going to happen with man blitzers I'm going to go and, uh, and beat them uh, with some of these passing concepts but take a look at sluggo take a look at the double moves you're going to find a lot of the, the concepts uh, a hitch route is always effective against anybody that runs a lot of heavy man blitzes and if they do press a simple streak uh, with a fast receiver with good release, is nine out of ten times is going to beat his beat his defensive back and give you an opportunity for one play touchdown. So if you do like these tips, guys, make sure you hit the like button. And once again, to my subscribers, thank you for your support. And until next time.